Welcome to episode three. Welcome back. Um, in this episode, I'm going to talk mainly about my plans for the electrical system for the bike. Uh, last time we spoke, um, I was telling you I was after a, uh, a Daymaker style Jeep Wrangler headlight. Uh, I had one turn up. Um, it was faulty. Bit of a shame. Um, I tested it out though first. In fact, I'll show you a little clip of me testing it out. Okay, looks alright. My Daymaker headlight. It's arrived faulty. So... There's the halo, that's groovy, I like that. It's got an amber halo as well, which is for indicators. Shan't use that. Main beam, oh, main beam, beautiful. Low beam, nothing. Nightmare. Welcome back again. Uh, so anyway, that went back and yesterday I got another one. So here it is. My Daymaker headlight off a of Jeep Wrangler. It looks amazing, I love it. Um, it didn't fit the headlamp bowl off the R80, so I had to get an aftermarket headlamp bowl, um, again off eBay, which, uh, which it fits like a dream, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I'll show you in a second uh, on the bike mounted. So, electrical system. I've decided to go for Moto Gadget, and this is a M Unit Blue, which I think is a top end of uh, this kind of stuff. This will be the heart and brains of my machine. Um, it comes uh, well. I've opted to, to come with a huge bag of wires, which is uh, really good. Um, I've also picked up one of these, which is called a, an M Button which is a, a little controller that allows me to uh, simplify the wiring of all the handlebar controls back to my M unit Blue. So that's that. As far as clocks go, I've gone for the Motoscope Pro, which I think is a wonderful piece of equipment. Absolutely wonderful. Um, and I've got a mounting bracket for that somewhere which I'll show you in a second how that, how that fits in the back. Um, indicator wise, I was gonna go with a whole motor gadget uh, bar, handlebar setup with grips and mirrors and the bar end indicators, but they were incredibly expensive. Uh, so um, in fact, what swung it was a bargain eBay win of Oberon N bar mirrors, which I really, really like. Uh, I did a Triumph last year uh, and I wanted to use Oberons for that and I couldn't really afford them at the time but these were an eBay bargain, I got a pair of them, uh, again I'll show you on the bike in a second and then ind indicator wise I've gone for the, uh, still expensive but much cheaper than the bar end ones, M Blaze pin and they are tiny little things and look great. Um, found the mind bracket for me, Motoscope. And then for the rear indicators, I'm going with one of these LED strips which contains the left and right indicator, brake light and running light. It's flexible. I'm going to mount that behind the seat somehow. Uh, again, I'll try and show you in a second how I'm going to mount that up. But I, I like these and, I, and, uh, and I've tested it out and it works really well. So, electrical system. Let me show you how it sits on the bike. Okay, first of all, here's the, here's the bars fitted with my bar risers. Um, I've actually, the forks here on here aren't quite right, actually. You can see there that they're not quite in properly, but you can see the, the bar risers are in. They look good, and my uh, handlebars are on. Then my bar end mirrors, which will go on like that. Still haven't got the grips or controls yet, but you get the drift. Then there's my... There's my Daymaker headlight, which looks super good. I'm liking that. And that M-Blaze pin is just there. So I need to work out how to manage the, the wiring on this because that's not very good wiring-wise, but uh, yeah. 
there you go. That's how the front's kind of going to look, which is good. Well, I think it's good. Okay, and the next bit is where the motor gadget itself goes, and I'm thinking it needs to mount something like that around 45 degrees. So I need to work out how to, this actually bends, clamps flat under there, and it's other nice it's aluminium, so that won't bend easily. Nice piece of kit though. But yeah, I think a sort of 45 degree angle for the clocks, that looks good. I think so. Okay, then at the other end of the machine, the business end, we need to find a way of, here you can see that, I'm extending this, this tube out. Actually, it would be better with the tank off. One second. There you go, much better. Right, so this tube here, I'm going to extend this tube out, and that's where the seat's going to go. So, I've got myself a bit of galvanised bar, and I'm just trying to get the, the dimensions. But essentially, a longer version of that. So that's 35mm tube, which I need to extend probably to about here, and then weld a plate on, that's where my seat will go. This tube's not thick enough, clearly, it's only about a one mil wall, but I think two and a half mil should do it. So I need to find myself a bit of steel tube and someone to fabricate that for me, and that's uh, that's my seat done. So that'd be good. Right, uh, apologies for shaky camera work, because I'm uh, doing it one-handed. But essentially, this is where kind of where my seat's gonna sit, if you remember from the back, like that. So my intention is to have this mounted somewhere, I think it'll bend, but sort of somewhere like that around the back of the bike. I did actually consider trying to do it like that, but I'm not sure how well that will be seen from the back. But anyway, that's roughly where that's gonna go, somewhere along those lines. I think that looks super good. Yeah. It's coming along. So, um, that's roughly my electric system, or rather, that's the brains of it. I will do a, 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 I'll do a session on my actual electrical plan with a diagram. Um, but uh, I still need to get the buttons, the uh, controls, indicator controls, light controls, etc. I do like the um, Motone uh, tri-button ones. Um, but I also like the motor gadget ones as well, so I'll have a look and see what I can do with those. Um, and that's roughly the electric system uh, decided. So, in terms of where the build's going next, by the way, I what I'm going to do is I want to get the whole design. I'm designing as I go, really. So I want to get the sort of the rough design made. I want to get that seat, um, that seat extension done get the whole look of the bike and then once I've got that look of the bike then it's time to strip down each each bit of the bike completely um, uh, refurbish it and reassemble it repaint it etc so I'm, I'm roughly going to get the whole thing designed up first and then I'm going to um, do a proper strip down and you'll see hopefully fairly detailed uh, videos of fork strip downs the engine strip down the gearbox etc so they'll be completely refurbed uh, and put back together again. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like it, please like it. Um, please subscribe. There's a button down there somewhere to subscribe. And uh, thanks again, and see you next time.